Now, Afrikaans is a language spoken by millions of South Africans, but many still feel that it's a language used to exclude and oppress. This is just some of the topics that uh, was discussed during a debate about the relevance of Afrikaans held during the annual Art Club Arts Festival currently taking place in Pochovstrom in the northwest. SABC reporter Lizette Lovaskakli attended the debate. Is Afrikaans still relevant? That is the question on everybody's lips who is attending this year's annual Art Club Arts Festival here in Porchestrum. To tell me a little bit more about the history of Afrikaans, I'm joined by retired lecturer, Professor Vani Karstens. Professor, you had a very interesting talk this morning about the history of Afrikaans. Why is history so important? History is very important because it's part of the heritage of every nation. And uh, if you look at South Africa, you may have a divided history. But if you want to describe the way the country developed and the people living here, you should know the history of every group of speakers, every language group. And uh, what I did in the book, I tried to write the part of the history of Afrikaans. But it's always very important for me to write the history with to being inclusive. Inclusive means including all the languages in the country and all the people in the country. But if you look at this, Afrikaans has a sort of uh, interesting perspective. It has a negative history, but the history is changing. And this is what I wanted to reflect. We also heard from some of the members from the audience saying that Afrikaans is um, excluding certain people. And we're also getting a lot of kickback from um, some in government about uh, Afrikaans as the language of the oppressor. Yeah. How do we change the opinion of such people? You know, it's, it's, it's very difficult because it's part of the history. History gives sort of a certain perceptions about people. So you see that person as being equal to that. And that's not always true. And uh, we can change it by being normal and extraordinary human beings. Being as members of the Afrikaans community, we are part of this country. We are not apart. We're just part of this country. Just live your life being an Afrikaans human being in South Africa and in your normal way of life include people from other languages. Then you make yourself relevant and then you're part of this country. Are you worried that in the near future Afrikaans might die out? I'm not. You know, you know if you look at the, what's actually going on, then there are some things worrying me, but it depends on the perspective you look at this. If you look at the functions of Afrikaans, you see a decline. But we can change it. We can change it by, by, by using the language more. And uh, 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 in, in certain areas, there's a, 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 a sort of a, a quick decline. But in other areas, it's not the case. But I'm sometimes I'm worried because we still have this historical perception of Afrikaans as a language of apartheid. We need to get rid of that perception. We need to make the language relevant to the country because then people will acknowledge of us for what we are and what we can be. And in this way we can contribute to the country. But if we continue staying apart, then Afrikaans will decline. But what does those that speak Afrikaans say about this lovely language? Yes, I definitely think Afrikaans is relevant. Um, I think in Porch especially it is very really re relevant because there's a big culture and a big community behind Afrikaans. Well, I think Afrikaans is a, such a beautiful, expressive language that I think Afrikaans people just have such a vibe with their language. And it seems that as Afrikaans speaking people, we still have a lot to do to ensure that we are accepted and that our language is liked by everybody in South Africa. And with that, it's back to you in the studio.